So we're outside of this house. Uh, we're looking at the XB201 fan that they set on the sewer pipe here. Um, and check this out. So uh, they've plugged this in outside. That is a huge no-no. Um, this should be hardwired into an electrical switch. The switch serves as the disconnect, um, not what they've got going on here. Um, this, this, you can't plug in like that. That's a big no-no. Um, definitely want to change that and fix that. All right, so here is the uh, suction point for the basement. Comes through the foundation wall. We see a Schedule 20 sewer pipe. It's got some hard 90s on it, so that's going to slow down the air for well, a good bit. Um, let's see where this goes. Comes into the crawl space. Man, even more. And then it goes over here. Okay, again. Uh, one of the big killers of radon fans is going to be water in the vent pipe. So um, this is not strapped at all, and it's full of water. I'm going to try to pick up, and you can hear the sloshing. Super heavy, super full of water. Again, why did the radon stop prematurely? Why did it st stop functioning? It's because it's full of water. Um, this needs to be drained, or the radon fan is going to die again. This is the system outside. This is the, um, you can see the Schedule 20 pipe here. Um, look at the closet 90s. That's a really hard 90 to turn air in. Um, again, it's a thin wall pipe. We want to replace that with Schedule 40. Uh, so everything is the way it's supposed to be done. So we're going to take this uh, XP201 out. Um, we're going to take and pull off the Schedule 20 gutter here and we're going to replace that with Schedule 40. And then up at the top here, you can see this is just vented open. So uh, we want to take and cover that with a half inch wire mesh so that we can uh, keep birds, squirrels, animals, and debris out of this uh, radon mitigation system. Look at the quality of this strapping here. So what they've done is they have cut some more sewer pipe uh, to make their strapping. Um, pretty janky I guess it was effective I guess it worked but uh pretty poor quality in my opinion this is the fan it's got all kinds of organic matter in it um, again this is because there's no uh, critter guard so acorns um, leaves twigs have been falling down into this system over the years um, and uh, kind of clogging this up decomposing inside the fan motor so you see the water down in here um, that's one of the problems with this system. It's full of water, um, minus the Schedule 20 pipe. So we're gonna, again, cut all this out. Um, the customer didn't want to replace all the piping, so we're just gonna replace the part that we're affecting today, which is gonna be the outside. Um, but we're gonna cut out some of the Schedule 20 here. Um, we're gonna drain it, and then we're going to uh, strap it and get it all connected the way it's supposed to be, so everything pitches back to the suction point. This is the sewer pipe on the inside. Again, uh, the fan's out there. Um, it comes through the wall. All the, look at all these hard 90s. There's so many hard 90s, but the biggest thing is it's pitched in this corner. Um, this runs downhill here. This runs downhill there, and there's a ton of water right here in this trap. And so we got to drain that water out, and then we're going to rebuild this piping section, um, and then we're going to get the fan up and running, retake the floor pressures, and go from there. Say goodbye to the old system. 
Okay, so this is the new system. So we took and rerouted this pipe. We changed it out to schedule 40 PVC, um, and then we made it more direct. Um, so this is uh, the crawl space uh, where the pipe traversed. Personally, I think this crawl space can have to be addressed. Um, the sub slab is extremely dense, hard to move air through. Uh, so there's a high likelihood that the radon is probably coming from this exposed earth area. Uh, the customer doesn't want to address that right now so we'll do that at a later date but uh, for the purpose of today again here's the pipe uh, we've pitched everything downward back to the original suction point uh, cleaned all of this up and got rid of the piping that was originally along this wall this is the new system on the outside we completely rebuilt it we installed a varmint guard at the top keep birds and squirrels out uh, we installed galvanized metal pipe clamps to secure the um, pipe to the building and then we put in a variable speed fan there's multiple foundation zones in this home that are not being treated so uh, if we have to come back and address those in the future we've got plenty of capability with this new fan uh, also above that we put in a moisture guard just to help divert rainwater and condensation around the fan motor uh, also to help keep rainwater and condensation uh, out of the radon vent piping um, so this is the new system that we've installed here in this home.